What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and today I wanted to talk in detail about uh, a really interesting topic when it comes to hacking Smash Brothers for Wii U. Now this is news that got around to a lot of you guys before because many of you are referencing me this article from Reddit, or rather not an article per se, but you know a thread. And a lot of you guys are saying, yo Etika man, there's somebody who managed to make a character hack. We pretty much got Project M slash Wii U coming through and it sounded like an interesting prospect but I didn't really see it for myself per se so I'm going to save my first reaction for right now actually and we're going to watch through with the video here so let's take a look at the reddit thread and so big ups to Sonic Brawler I'm not sure if he's the one that did the hack in the first place but I don't know I mean I'm, I'm curious about the prospect of being able to hack and moderate the, um, mod the characters and the physics of the game to be honest man it's like wow like I feel like this is happening a lot sooner than I don't know I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of mixed about it. I like the fact that they were able to do edits, but at the same time, I don't know if that'll be really conducive for progress for the Smash community because we all know how PM is being looked at right now. A lot of people don't want to touch that game, man, because obviously Nintendo has an issue with it, and they're saying that, you know, it, it's something that really isn't really good for esports. So I don't know. This is kind of like a really gray area. I know a lot of people love PM, and I'm not saying it's bad or whatever, but, um,. Who knows if this will be a progressive move for Smash Brothers because you know Nintendo's not going to like shit like this. They're very vocal when it comes to how much they don't support moderation or um, hacking, ROM dumping, etc, etc. So um, let's take a look at this. Oh, whoops. Uh, I fast forwarded it by accident. But um, So apparently we have something here. Maybe he modded um, Marth to be like fucking Melee Marth. Who knows? What the fuck? Nigga, the grab range. Alright, so this is definitely not something which is just kind of like a an, a light edit to make him more viable. Like, this is something which is basically showing him in ridiculous mode right now. Because that grab. That fucking grab. What else you got? What the hell? Pretty interesting. So I guess that's just a small demonstration as to how they can, um, as to how they can kind of like moderate, uh, I keep saying moderate, modify. That's the right wording I should use, modify. Uh, I apologize. You know, when, when, when you commentate, you should try commentating one time, you know? Your, your brain doesn't work the way that it would if you weren't talking and focusing on an audience at the same time. I guarantee you. But anyways... I really, I fixed the Martha Crab range. <laughs> yeah, you fixed that shit all right, man. Kind of made it ridiculous at the same time, you know. Um, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, Brawl Plus. If, if something's broken, break everything till it's fixed. <laughs> that, that's, that's a good way to look at it. First hacks, tutorials, tools you use, I'm interested. And it doesn't really seem like there's much in the description attributing to how the hell he did this. Let's see if there's any more videos from this guy. Oh, whoops. I didn't even put my headphones in. Um, Alright, so it seems like he does other kinds of videos when it comes to, like, Street Fighter, but nothing in terms of, like, Smash Brothers hacks and what I'm seeing, of, as of late, at least. Um, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Uh, let's go to the video itself, actually. Um, did he respond to Game Onion? And by the way, shout out to Game Onion, man. Um, it might just be video editing in which he stops recording after doing a grab animation from far away. That could very well be it. I was thinking that myself. Um, but it's not. See the second screen? Yeah, I figured. Okay. Um, <laughs> this guy's pretty funny, too. Um, he said, you figured it out. I mean, if you look at my channel, I'm really good at video editing and stuff. It's what I'm known for. Sick video edits. <laughs> Obviously, the sarcasm is there. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm guessing it's not like a fucking... I, I, I guess it can't really be, like, faked. I mean... I thought at first, like, maybe this is something that's kind of, like, brought together by, you know, editing, but somebody else already pointed out that it's not. See the second screen? And, um, yeah, I, I, I believe it. I don't think this is really faked. Um, hopefully more attention is put on this. Project M for Wii U. Let's go. That looks like Melee. Just perfectly on spot. Perfectly with Melee. But, um, 
All right, guys. Well, this looks pretty interesting. I'm hoping that we see more of this, and not just from this guy, but from other people as well, too, in the community. If he can do it, then I know there's definitely some other people out there that can muster up this kind of modification as well, too. Guys, you got to let me know what you think about this in the comments. Um, what do you think about Marth's new improved grab range, man? This is coming out in the next patch. So I just I confirmed it, man. Uh, Marth for top tier. Let's go. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And, of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.